Law is a powerful tool for changing the life of a society, but it is also a powerful tool for changing the life of an individual. The more diverse the people representing the law are, the more representative the laws will be. And I think that the Pre-Law Institute is great for that. PLI is one of those important connections that you need to help you say, if not now, then when? I'm ready. When I first came to John Jay as president and welcomed my first incoming class, I asked them uh, how many of them wanted to study forensic science or forensic psychology or go into law enforcement, and really on a whim, I asked how many wanted to go to law school, and about a quarter of them raised their hand, so the Pre-Law Institute became uh, that infrastructure, that support system. Jean Jay is one of the only institutions to have a real dedicated pre-law institute, which is separate from a pre-law program. We are actually a um, sort of standalone institute where we provide all sorts of resources and interventions for students who are interested in law school. I knew from the time I got here to John Jay that I wanted to attend law school after graduating. So my first step was to start finding out information about the steps that I would have to take, and someone directed me to the Pre-Law Institute. Well, the parts of the Pre-Law Institute that make it work, I think, are the LSAT course. So it's kind of a very nuts and bolts approach. Here are the workshops, here are the tools. Then there is kind of the individual advisement that helps students get a sense for what they can do, you know, the sense that someone cares about what their future can be. All the programming, whether it's the judicial internship program, whether it's the boot camps, whether it's the law school prep program, is designed to enhance our students' ability to take facts and interpret them appropriately. So I think certainly the hard type of skills in terms of research and writing, I think I really got a chance to cultivate those through the pre-law boot camps. Uh, in addition to those, some of the study methods that I got from academics and from pre-law advisors in terms of research methods and editing were really helpful. For many underserved students, the notion of going to law school, they might be the first person in their family to go to college. And so it's important to provide the foundation and the support necessary to provide these students with the opportunity to pursue a dream. The legal profession as a whole, still uh, diversity is a critical issue. And so, you know, you're building this pipeline. I mean, uh, bar associations, law schools have talked about it, but John Jay has kind of put its money where its mouth is in creating this program and providing the skills for these students. I didn't have the money to take any of these LSAT courses. I looked at them, I saw them, I priced them, and I thought, I'm a single woman, I'm doing this by myself, I'm paying for classes. So the Pre-Law Institute gave me something that I could not have gotten anywhere else. So I don't think I would be in law school if it wasn't for uh, the Pre-Law Institute at John Jay College. I didn't have any family members who were lawyers, I didn't have any financial support from my family. So, you know, going to law school was this abstract concept and I hadn't really thought about it. So the Pre-Law Institute kind of bridges that gap. I mean, it, for lack of a better word, it serves as that social support system. In our last admission cycle, we had students admitted to over 84 schools, and they received nearly $13 million in scholarship awards, which is incredible for any institution. I can go after these colleges, and I can sit amongst the best of the best. The people here and the success stories and the network that you have at John Jay is really important. If you want to go to law school, you came to the right place.